YouTube, what's going on today, man? It's your boy Skyler back with another video. And I know you guys are thinking, Skyler, a third video in a row? Three days in a row? Like, who's this new man? And I don't know, guys. I uploaded those two videos, had the DDG plaque surprise, and then my mukbang yesterday. And I was like, yo, like, I'm not doing a whole lot. Like, why not just make another video? I was making a Lightroom tutorial earlier. My computer was bugging. I couldn't figure out how to get it working. And it was just. It was just going bad. I couldn't figure it out. So we're moving to actually a premiere tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys the one thing that changed my music videos forever. I swear, I swear this one thing once I figured it out and it's so simple once you guys see what I'm about to show you. It's so simple, but it changed the way my videos look forever. I'm gonna bring you right into this tutorial. Before I do, I just wanna please ask for a like and a comment and subscribe down below if you haven't. I noticed a lot of people watching my videos actually aren't subscribed, so please subscribe. I'm really close to like 1,100 subscribers. I might as well take this subscriber goal, you know, 100 at a time. So, you know, I've gained about 15, 20 in the last couple days. Um, you guys killed the DDG video. I'm, you guys are loving the mukbangs. So I might as well try this kind of content on my YouTube channel. I've never really done tutorials like this before, but you know, I'm trying to upload, trying to give you guys value and content. Like I said in my creative video I did a couple days ago where I kind of just was going through a mental rut and you know, was just talking it out with you guys and giving you advice and tips and stuff. So this kind of falls under the same realm, but now we're getting technical. We're getting to the computer. So I'm gonna stop talking your ear off. Let's get into the tutorial. This is the one thing that changed my music videos forever. So let's get into it. All right, so as you guys can see here, I have two clips from my music video I filmed last year, last summer with my boys, Amari Tsukiyomi and Dame Rico. It's their song called 24s. It's on my YouTube channel if you guys haven't watched it already. It's one of my favorite videos, one of my best quality videos that I've done. And it's a really good song too. So go watch that. I just grabbed two example clips out of it. They're not even graded nothing's done to them they're they not even the same part of the video so they don't even connect within the song so i'm just using them as an example if you guys work in premiere pro use this at your own will and use it how you like use it in your way the only way to really achieve this effect is to work and better your skills as a gimbal user that's one thing i've really tried focusing on uh, you know every video I do I try to make sure my gimbal stuff is on point the movements things like that For this sp specific effect and it's really not an effect half the job is done when you're filming So what I mean by that is when you're filming with the gimbal rather than moving left and right Try to do a lot more in and out really fast like it's it's quite a workout like you guys have seen my behind the scenes It is a workout with the gimbal especially with the weight to them if you move in and out quickly while like, you know, coming from a low angle up to a high angle, things like that, that's half the job to this effect. I don't know exactly what to call this, but I like to call it like a gliding zoom. And it can be used either way, either when you're going from in to out or out to in physically. So in this first clip, I'm going in to out, as you guys can see. So I'll play it. You know, the clip's cool for being the way it is, right? But if you guys want to sauce it up a little bit more, what I do is I keyframe the beginning of the clip, the scale and the position, go to the very end and zoom in. Don't mind his face, but zoom in at the very end. So as the clip starts, it zooms in the same time you're going in as well. And in my head, the way I describe it is it gives it this gliding type of effect. So, like I said, keyframe in the beginning, go all the way in, zoom in. The more you zoom, the more glide feeling you'll have. So we'll go in that far. Like I said, don't mind this face. So now we went from this to now we'll turn it on from that to this. And as you can see, the gliding effect makes it look way more professional in my eyes. It looks like, you know, it's an expensive camera, an expensive gimbal. I got one of like the cheapest gimbals you can buy, 200, 300 bucks. But I've seen a lot of music videos where they use these massive gimbals 
and it gives you that gliding effect with without having it on it just feels cheap you can kind of see the little movements that you might you know accidentally have done but when you add that zoom to it looks way better so now let's move on to the clip where you're going from in to out so this one was out to in and now this one's in to out so i'm going from so here's the original clip so i start in close and i just walk backwards really fast with the gimbal watch that one more time so now we do the same thing here keyframe the beginning you keyframe the beginning the position and the scale but this time you're going to start zoomed in i keyframe the position as well so i can frame them up better i like that framing put those in the beginning and now when you go to the end you just hit reset the parameter it puts it back to where it normally was everything all squared away and so now you have something where it is in tight and zooms out really fast and you guys can see as you walk backwards it looks like you're way farther away than you actually were because you're zoomed in and it gives it that gliding effect right there right towards the end you guys get that feeling like right about this point there's just that feeling of gliding this as opposed to the original clip and obviously if you cut it there add some more movement afterwards it makes everything flow way better rather than just having this boring zoom out clip not a whole lot to it turn that on press play got that gliding feeling and i think it's just such a subtle thing a lot of people may not notice it but i think subconsciously when you're watching a video it looks a lot better in my opinion let me know if you guys agree with me in the comments below or if there's another way to do it that you guys think is better or if you don't even like it let me know too and give me your opinion you know this is a um, open discussion of course um but for me personally the way i like to do my style videos this just makes my videos better and it looks way better so that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video quick little tutorial if you guys want more little things like this on you know things that i've learned myself through doing music videos i'll of course do way more but for now i'm just going to keep pumping out the content i hope you guys enjoyed like i said subscribe like and comment below i love you guys my name is skyler finch stay tuned for the next video and i'm out peace